It seems like his subordinates referred to him as the captain. Never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir! He's going inside? But the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? <sighs> the time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <laughs> They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines, it's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. Hmm. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. <sighs> you don't have much time, and you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You... Heard something from here, didn't you? <coughs> no need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. <laughs> then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. <sighs> can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So I felt like I had to help you. <sighs> So, you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. 
Silali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? <sighs> I want to do something to change Netland for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange. <laughs> Cicelale is said to be the legendary Granny Eatsley, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub, and the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul, a sense of justice. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. <laughs> 